School has been back in session for a month now, and several things look different. Masks, social distancing, the new commons, but not everything has changed like the hallway crowds. It may be an ongoing complaint, but after a year of remote learning, students face the effects of congested hallways now more than ever. Senior Angela Manevska shares her input on the conditions of the halls during the passing period and how it affects her ability to get to class. They're pretty crowded because everyone kind of goes in the same ways, especially because sophomores weren't in the building last year, so they don't really know their way around the school and freshmen are still trying to figure it out. So everyone kind of goes the same ways and it's harder to get to class. Students are not the only people in the building who are experiencing the effects of a crowded passing period. While teachers may not have to go from class to class, they still feel impacted by the hallway situation. English teacher Lauren McSweeney feels that teacher-student communication has been dampened in comparison to last year's hybrid learning schedule, where students had 10-minute passing periods. Um, the first week of school or a couple weeks of school, there was a lot of students that would come late because of the traffic jams in the hallways and stairwells. It's gotten a little better. Um, I would say just knowing when I do switch classes or when I sub, I can feel what it's like for them and sort of the stress and anxiety of not having time to stop anywhere, talk to a friend, use the restroom. So I would say I have like empathy for that. The addition of the brand new learning commons and two new staircases allow students more options when navigating their way to their classes. Principal Ed Schwartz speaks to the intention of the new additions and their role in the passing periods. The learning commons was not in the idea of making things less crowded, but the stairwells were. If you knew we added two new stairwells, uh, the big one in the middle of the learning commons, but then the, also the one at the north end, and unfortunately, the magnetic door hold opens were not there yet when the year started. So I don't think kids even realized those stairs were there for a while. But now that they're open and stuff, those two stairwells were designed to alleviate the overcrowding. I think they were slow helping because again, people didn't know that other one was there. So I think that was part of the problem. Congested halls may continue to still be an ongoing issue, but as students use the new staircases, less crowding may be seen in the halls. This is Faith Nelson reporting from Downers Grove South High School with the Blueprint News Network signing off.